Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Ayubid Sultanate campaign for Gearhawk's Retrofit Mod Hot Seat Grand Campaign, turn number 27. And we have been utterly betrayed, my friends. We have been led astray by the scum of the earth, the Holy Roman Empire. You can see that he has actually aggressively attacked my Jihad force and defeated it, and that is very frustrating. Here he is uh, telling me, the whole thing was a ruse to get you to the north instead of to Palermo, as they had nothing to defend the island with, although now Sicily has an army, Venice has two, Milan has one, Hungary has one. This is a really weak flex because I know Sicily has had such trouble in Spain, and Venice has barely any settlements left. Their one army is over here, and the Turks are going to destroy it on their turn. So I really, it's it's kind of a weak flex from all of his nations. He's chosen his side, which is fine. I'd rather know it now than later and maybe lose more. I lost a free army that I pay no upkeep for, and we're going to be building a new one up to full strength this turn anyways. So uh, that really didn't put us back at all. Sure, we didn't gain the sacking income of Venice, but we don't really need it. As you can see, you know, we're making a decent amount of coin each turn, so... Uh, we have a message from Britannia here. Greetings. Maybe you don't know, noble sultan of Egypt, but I am a traitor of the Christian world. Interesting. So they have a traitor in their midst. As the main powers betray me and took my glory and put me on shame on the eyes of my people. And I'm talking about France and the Holy Roman Empire. So in case it's on Mediterranean Sea, I will come to your aid against those corrupted scum. Turks and Moors know about my plans and they accepted my offer to help, but I want you to keep it secret till my official betrayal against those when they don't see it coming. I will wholeheartedly accept that. And then we have Moroccan Empire here. The second siege of Toledo has been annihilated. The French are broken and the Spanish are about to join them. Sicily sends what's left of its armies in a ditch effort to take my capital. Though I have set a trap for the infidel fool... I have also acquired intel that France will be sending more armies to Spain due to their current line of failures, and as a result, I may soon require assistance, as I cannot hold the... Um, wait, three more French armies off at this current moment. P.S. Spooky Scary Skeletons. Yes, it is coming close to Halloween. And this could play right into the HRE's plans. We've seen how devious and conniving he is. I could totally see him using France to deplete himself against the Moors, and then just backstabbing him. Uh, that could be something in the cards in the future, but um, we don't really concern ourselves with Catholics anymore from this turn on, except when we kill them in battle. And the Sultanate of Rome, could you build a fort with your stupid general? He's in the way, blocking two hostile armies. I'm sure I can destroy them and send them all to hell. Ella, that's, I don't think that's how you spell it. But I will talk about the general named Marbridge in Bulgaria. Yes, he did send me a screenshot of it. And I wonder how this general was able to retreat from here all the way down to here. Like, uh, maybe he was defeated twice, if, if that's even a thing. But anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to abandon the crusade. So he is no longer a crusading force. And then Orders. we're going to... Orders. Basically, the way that it works in Medieval 2 is... If you disband this turn with the general, then all of these units will come off crusade next turn. But some people may seem that, that uh, think that that's exploity because I'm not paying any upkeep for these units while starting a new jihad army. I think the rule is only one jihading or crusading army at a time. I know that's the rules in my server, so I'm assuming it's the same in his. But the actual fact is that as soon as I hit end turn, these guys come off crusade and then I pay upkeep for them. Um, so, But just to be sure, because I don't want people to complain, and I also don't want to be penalized for it. Let's get rid of these guys. And then I'm actually going to hire who's cheap here. 120, 150. So let's get these two Balkan archers. And now we're going to make a fort, because I think his rules are the same as my rules, that we have to keep three units minimum in the fort at all times. In fact, I probably should check that. I'll double check after the... I'll double check his rules after this, because I'm pretty sure it's three. But if it's more, then I could always jump back in and add more. I'll just follow the video the exact same way, but I'm almost 100% sure that it's three units. And then down here, we uh, we had moved this force last turn, a lot of troops over, because we kept mostly Saracen militia here. And what we're going to do here is... Okay, so here's what we're going to do. What, what generals do I have? Family member... 
And wait, no, that's the Sultan. And then we have a family member. And this guy actually has Dread too, which is good. And I'm not sending my Sultan on Crusade, so let's move him out. Grab an extra one there. And then I think we need 10 units for Crusade, but I kind of want to take all of these Spearmen because I I doubt that I'm going to get um, good quality auto-resolve units when I join the Crusade. So let's go ahead and join here, join the Jihad. And then I can get these Ghazis, these two, and this. And then I just need three more units. What should I get? Bedouin Cavalry might be good. And then... Yeah, these mercenary galleys are very cheap, so let's grab them. Jump onto the ships. And should I land this turn? That's the thing. Because I'm not going to be able to... I don't want to spring my trap just yet. So, what do I want to do? Naam, great Sultan. Hmm, okay, so let's put him here. I want to kind of keep him out of view for now. So, let's actually bring him... Because I could land this turn, but I probably won't be able to siege this turn. Probably won't be able to. And then if he sallies out or he gets any units over the end turn... I doubt he could defeat me, though. I really doubt that he could. Okay, let's move this ship out of the way. Let's actually just go for it. And let's try and land them right here. Oh, yeah, so close. So close. Uh, we've got another mercenary galley. Let's go ahead and hire that. And then we have more ships to defend over here with. Tighten the blockade a little bit here. Uh, this guy is looking a little weak, but we can pull him back a bit. Actually, let me make sure that there's nothing else out here. No, it looks like we're okay. Yeah, so I don't think he'll be able to. One, two, so we got what? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Even if he hires more troops, I can just attrition him down. But I'm pretty sure that they are in a weakened state. Yeah, down to 64 soldiers there. The generals could be strong, but they have they have no dread, so they're not the best generals. I mean, this guy has decent command, uh, but we should be able to destroy them next turn. Infidels to kill Sultan. Yeah, because we just can't reach it, but that's pretty much GG for him. Uh, we could bring in some reinforcements as well, actually. Uh, so, let's merge these fleets up so that they're not as broken. And then since the Turks are over here, let's come over to Smyrna. And let's leave the Crown Prince there. We can take the family member and these guys. And then we'll bring them over to here. And they should be able to land next turn and come in as reinforcements. And then there's no way in hope that he'll be able to hold off. Now, I would like to convert this to a city because they're just not worth it to have them... Oh, heretic. Let's try it. 55%. Yes! Excellent. I'm probably going to have to... Oh, no, we're actually doing well there. That's pretty good. Excellent. Uh, and did I hire that extra Spear Militia? Yes, I did. Excellent. So that's pretty much all of our money, but we've basically replaced what we lost this turn. And we've avoided any conflicts here by having the three units, which is good. As I said, I'll double-check that afterwards, but uh, let's just head up here and see. I'm using them mostly as scouts at the moment. And let's spy on this diplomat to kind of level ourselves up here. Which is good, and then head on this way. Yeah, so here's the end of turn report. So yeah, Sultanate of Rum is doing very well. Militarily, we're fourth, unfortunately. Yeah, we only have like 60% the strength of the Golden Imperium, but no problem there. Uh, we're going to recapture Arachlion. And yeah, Corinth is just holding some gazies here. Uh, they did retake... The oh no, it's Rebel. Haha, <laughs> that's too funny. But yeah, he's emptied uh, Ragusa as well. He's coming over here. So I might sail up here and sack that. 
and then come across here to Naples, sack that, and then on to Palermo. I mean, it would be good to lose his capital, but this is really helping us out right now, and it's definitely helping out Emerald as well to be able to have that, uh, to be able to have that crusading force or that jihad force. But yeah, let's keep scouting around here, making sure he's not sending any armies by land. And actually, let me just double check here that there's nothing here. It's a Sicilian watchtower. So yeah, he's, he's also watching to see if there's anything coming over here. Actually, I wonder if he... Could he sneak around? How did he even get over there? Let me see if we, he, he could sneak uh, an army around here and I didn't notice. Yeah, but surely I would have noticed, right? Surely? My eyes are yours. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, we need to uh, continue building up here. Let's grab... Oh, I can't get the Saracen militia now. Uh, that kind of sucks, but... Uh, this guy here, is this an admiral? It's just an Egyptian navy, so let's actually have uh, them group up. There we go. So that's kind of back to a bit of a better strength. I think I'll convert this to a town as well. We don't need this many castles. And Heraclean is going to be good as well. But yeah, he's hired some mercenaries here. But uh, I, as I said, I don't think he's going to be able to defeat this. This is a pretty powerful force. And I, I will I will be pissed if he defeats this, actually. Because he only has three, six of the good spears. But I have... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Plus, I have these Ghazis. Eight and nine. I mean, I can't see what they are. Eight and nine. Then these guys, twelve and five. They're pretty solid as well. Sudanese tribes in eleven. Like, they've got good attack. Plus, we will outnumber them. These, these are probably only as strong as one. So, it's basically like one, two, three, three units. Very good. So, I don't think there's anything else I can do. So, let's go ahead and send some messages. And uh, a little uh, tip of the hat to anyone who can tell me what this quote is from. It's from a movie. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Fort made, because he asked me to get a fort. I wonder if he only has one territory left. Um, and I needed to message England. England. His allies are... Yeah, he, his allies are kind of lost, unfortunately. I'm very curious, actually, as to who plays England. I'll have to check that as well. Very good. But I think that's pretty much all we can do this turn. We've spent all of our money. We've still got some buildings uh, being built in Cairo. I mean, Leather Tanner, not really that important. I wonder if Ballista Towers would actually help in Autorizal. I wonder if they would count towards the balance of power. If anybody knows, uh, feel f excuse me, feel free to let me know, but... Um, in actual fact, we'll probably be way past that point by the time you actually do comment. Because these are about five to six turns behind. Very good. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And it is Portugal's turn next. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.